Today's video, I'm going to show you, in my opinion, the best five-man blitz in Madden 24 right now. This blitz is really effective because it provides potential for you to get an A-gap pressure. It's also really good against blocked running back and different things that your opponent can do to pick this up. It's really good against the Bunch Strong, Bunch Strong Offset, Bunch Strong Nasty meta. So uh, if you guys want to get my entire defensive ebook, I actually just dropped a massive update to the ebook out of the 4-3 even 6-1. We're in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook today, and we're going to call this blitz from really any play. It's more of a concept. And the cool part about this specific blitz is you can actually uh, call this with auto flip offs or on. So most of the blitzes in Madden 24, you need auto flip to be off. For here, we're going to have auto flip on, auto alignment to base, option defense on conservative. Flats are going to be on default. Curl flats are going to be on 20 or 25. That's kind of up to you, however you want to use the defense. And then zone coverage, I like to have match on because I have zone drop set. When I have zone drop set, I like to put my match coverage on. All right. So cover four quarters is the play. And against the most popular offense in the game, bunch or bunch offset, we'll show you what this is going to look like. And then we'll talk about some other formations. So what you want to do with this defense, all you have to do is basically just blitz the linebacker that is opposite of the side that the blitzers are crashing to. So you see right here, the blitzers are crashing to the right side of the screen. So what we want to do is we're going to try to make it so that this defensive end has a chance to come through this A-gap or this guy has a chance to slip through this left side gap. So what we're going to do is we're just going to blitz the linebacker on the left side of the screen. And then you could do really whatever coverage you want behind the defense. So it might look something like this if you're trying to stop the flats, you know, something like this right here. And then as you'll see, a lot of times you're going to get these little random disengages and gap pressures Really, really effective little defense. Now, let me show this to you again real quick, and then we'll talk about some of the other things that you can do kind of around the blitz. Another little underrated tip that you can do is you can contain and then re-blitz the linebacker on the left side. So you see, this is what the defense looks like now because this will stop a lot of the rollout stuff that a lot of people are wanting to do. And every now and then, this blitz can get kind of randomly picked up, especially if your user's not, you know, kind of usering, you know, down in the box type deal. So, uh, another simple thing that you can do is contain globally blitz both linebackers and then zone this guy on the left side. So you see here, this is kind of what the defense is going to look like. And then, as you see, if the gap pressure doesn't come in, though, most of the time you should get this edge pressure off the left-hand side of your screen. So again, I'll show it to you one more time, and then we'll talk about some of the coverage things you can do. So as far as standing, you can also stand kind of like right here if you wanted to. So you're not – the cool part about 6-1 as well is it's not like dollar where you have to – I mean, I guess dollar doesn't have to hover in certain spots, but you, you don't have to really hover in any spot to run this defense well. So, like, you know, you can kind of be over in here if you wanted to be user and over here, and you see the blitz is going to scream. Now you might be saying, okay, well – you know, five man blitz against five out is good, but you know, how does this fare when they block a running back? It actually uh, can still come in. As you see right there, we get random disengages sometimes when they block the running back. One of the other things that I wanted to really quickly point out that's interesting about six one that I've noticed is let's say they start to slide protect. So if they slide, if they slide protect really any direction, and of course, randomly it picked it up, a lot of times what will happen in these slide protection situations is random people will start to come in as well. So you'll see here, like a lot of times you'll get disengages or you'll get defensive ends matched up with the running back and they'll just quickly shed him, instant shed him or something like that. That happens a ton with this defense. These just kind of see right there, we almost got an A gap and it was a slide to the right. So there's a lot of value in, in the fact that it's really difficult for them to just rely on slide protection to be able to pick this up. Um, you know, what really the best way to pick up the blitz is actually to block a tight end. But this is where kind of the second aspect of this comes, which we're going to talk about bunch strong here. So let's say, let's say you're playing somebody that's running bunch strong. Again, you have really, really good coverage here. So you could do something, you know, very simple like this from a coverage perspective. This is pretty decent bunch strong D. And as you see, we're getting that disengage on the right side if they send five out. If they block a running back in, in a bunch strong type of situation, unless the running back is on the side of the blitzer, which and even sometimes if he is on the side of the blitzer, but a lot of times what you'll see here is the blitz can still come in off of the edge if they do block, if they do indeed block a running back. So what they what is really the best way to block this blitz that I've seen is to block a tight end. But again, the problem with blocking a tight end 
is occasionally, let's say you start slide protecting when you're blocking a tight end, you see how they just kind of randomly just disengage or come in. That happens a ton in, uh, in, in actual game modes. Now, last little thing I want to show is the six man variation of the six one blitz, which is basically this right here. And you're just going to add an, add a linebacker to the blitz. You're going to stand about right here and you see if they block a running back or a tight end, oftentimes you're going to get somebody screaming in at the quarterback. One of the things that I like to do when I start to notice that they're blocking like a tight end specifically is you can go ahead and crash your line away from the tight end. So like crash line to the left. And then sometimes you'll see here, see how we're getting, getting these random kind of disengages again when we start to do stuff like that. So uh, six one is a really, really good defense. It can do a lot of different unique things. You can always experiment with different ways of running the defensive course as they start to, you know, maybe counter your blitz with certain pickups. One of my favorites is to just shift towards the tight end and blitz everybody as you just saw. But anyways, that's the six one blitz in a nutshell. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the entire defense, join the Patreon for just $10. It'll get you access to all of our eBooks, all of our updates to the eBooks, any new stuff that we drop. $10 to become a better Madden player. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.